No one sticks on now.
Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Chocobos to cross the swamp. Now, I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people, but if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, 
That's none of these good folks' business. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. You mean Pico? 